welcome back to my channel of Humsi. so this is a video about the neurotropics and first of all going into the topic so this is one of the most important topic so please subscribe to the channel and like to the topic and today's topic is neurotropics so neurotropics means these are the cognitive enhancers means when a person is not having the enough or sufficient memory so these are also known as the memory enhancers so that is nothing but the cognitive enhancers means the ability to remember something and to grasp and to behave socially in the society so these are most useful so these are known as nootropics so nootropics definition we can see the nootropics are the drugs of cerebral activating so especially these are cerebral activating drugs so the cerebral activating drugs are called as the nootropics so these are the heterogeneous groups of drugs developed for use in dementia and other cerebrospinal disorders so especially these cerebral drugs are used to treat the dementia that is nothing but the loss of memory and other cerebral disorders so whatever the disorders which are occurring to the cerebro so those are treated by using this cerebrospinal drug cerebro drugs so some other cerebro disorders like alzheimer's disease that is ad and now the disorders treated are so by using cerebro drugs what are the disorders are treated dementia alzheimer's disease okay and we can know how the mechanism of action is taken by the neurotropics so increasing the global or regional cerebral blood flow see here global means completely the blood circulation throughout the brain and regional means at the single position or at a particular position where there is a loss of blood flow so that is increased by the mechanism of action of the cerebral drugs and direct support of neural neuronal metabolism and it gives the direct metabolism to the neurons that are present in the brain to enhance the ability to remember anything and enhancement of neurotransmissions so the main deficient of this is because of there is no motor or neuronal coordination so that is the lack of which causes thing but the mental disorders okay so the every neuron should work properly by the release of the neurotransmitters so this is the most important thing and improvement of discrete cerebral functions and discrete cerebral functions are nothing but the irregular functions like we have discussed loss of consciousness and thinking anything overly about that and others like uh, excessive thinking and not being socially well so these are improved so means these are reduced and drugs classification so what are the drugs used to treat the cerebral disorders like the drug classification is one is cholinergic activators and second one is glutamate or nmda antagonist so here i want to tell a point that antagonist means which acts against okay agonist means which acts with the same action so these are divided as the third one is the miscellaneous cerebral active drugs so what are the first type means cholinergic activators means excessive amount of cholinergic action is takes place by the nootropics example tacrine rivastigmine doniz donipizil galatamine etc and next glutamate or nmd antagonist means so they are reducing the levels of this glutamate and nmda okay so that's why they are using the antagonist so example memantine and next miscellaneous cerebral active drugs so miscellaneous means other or which are having the combined action of both one first drug and as well as a second drug that is nothing but the action and glutamate nmda antagonist so example pyrocetam uh, pyrethinol and py that is also known as the pyrethioxin and dihydroergotoxin that is also known as the codagrocrine and the third one is citicoline and ginkgo biloba and pyrimidine so these are the drugs which are mainly useful in the treatment of the mental disorders so the mental disorders are administered by the 
nootropics so here we are reducing the mental disorders by using the nootropics so that is by increasing the cholinergic activators so this is completely about the nootropics and remember this is one of the most important topic in the classification of drugs there are three types of classification of the drugs one is cholinergic activators and third one is miscellaneous and mostly the second one is the pa or glutamate and and glutamate or nmda antagonist okay so please subscribe to the channel and if you want any topics please comment thank you